how do how do you think uh, scouts can engage even more effectively in the uh, post 2015 agenda? Well, you know, this is a very exciting time. Uh, looking now to to the achievements we have made uh, with the Millennium Development Goals (MDGs) and setting a new Millennium Development Goals or uh, that what we call the post 2015. Uh, uh, development goals, which uh, will come right after the MDGs, I should say, for the next 15 years, from 2016 to 2013. Uh, I like to call the new development goals as a development contract because it should outline what are the uh, key objectives of uh, developments and what we are trying to achieve over the next 15 years. Uh, what are the key goals, targets, and indicators that would measure the success of uh, humanity at large in achieving these goals? Uh, so, this is uh, uh, many people li like to call it United Nations Development Goals. I like to call it, this is uh, everybody's global uh, development agenda because it should be owned by everyone. And this is a contract that we all should subscribe and contribute to the achievements of these development goals. Now we are looking for a very ambitious uh, new development agenda. And uh, these, uh, these uh, goals hopefully will be uh, prioritizing the needs of young people around the world. We are talking about very youthful planet today, with half of the world's population under 25 years of age. And if we really want to, to uh, uh, I mean, achieve development as I define it, which is uh, unleashing the potentials of young people around the world and making sure that the planet is sustainable so the future generations could also uh, do the same, uh, we need to, to, to work together and to coordinate our efforts. Here where I, I look for the, uh, to the work of the scouts and I uh, I attach a great importance to this massive network of 40 million individuals who are committed uh, to work towards these goals, hopefully, and to, to make sure that they would translate uh, the, the new development goals and their national actions, and uh, to, to also be actively working with the United Nations agencies, with governments, private sector, uh, academia, and all other actors and stakeholders to make sure that this, uh, these goals are being translated. Uh, so there is a clear window now for, for engagement, I would say, for, for the scouts and setting the agenda, and hopefully right after we have this agenda, and uh, contributing to the implementation and achieving these goals, and also in uh, accountability and uh, monitoring and evaluation to make sure that uh, the new development agenda will not be uh, a nice goal for the paper, but rather into implementation, directly into the national budget, into the national policies, and for young people to, to make sure to keep things on the track, to make sure that uh, governments, private sector, civil society, everyone is united uh, behind achieving these development goals. So the power of young people is extremely important uh, and the energy of young people to, to make sure that we translate this new, very ambitious uh, new development agenda uh, to reality that could touch people's life uh, around the world. And for, and for scouts doing um, uh, service projects in their local communities, is there any way they can, like, how can they uh, see if what they are doing and how that fits with uh, with the post-2015 agenda. Yeah, I think in anything we could do and do any small projects at this day should uh, should have some global vision and the global element. That's what I like to call it as type of being uh, global these days and uh, global, uh, having global vision and being locally active and uh, translating things at the local level. So, for example, if you care about environment and you want to uh, to take environmental projects, uh, you have to understand the context globally in which uh, the debate around environmental issues and also climate change, uh, and to try to translate that to maybe small pieces and small elements that you can implement and to fit into this uh, larger picture. Uh, everything is becoming global these days. Even our local actions, they have global implications. And I think we need to, to uh, become active citizens, uh, global citizens. Uh, and uh, we, we at the United Nations and the Secretary General of the United Nations repeatedly called for, for fostering global citizenship where we're all individuals. It doesn't matter where they live or what kind of projects they are involved in. They have a sense of uh, global responsibility towards issues of uh, uh, concerning human rights, uh, these the universal values that they should be at the heart of this global citizenship. Uh, and we, I think the scouts as they are implementing projects at the national level even uh, small scale uh, uh, initiatives. Uh, we should keep in mind always that uh, you belong to this uh, impressive uh, global uh, human family where they, you have like-minded people. And uh, coming here to Slovenia, to this 12th uh, Scout Youth Forum, and seeing young people from all over the world, 
It just reminds me that we are all a global citizen coming together and sharing the same interests and the same commitment uh, to, to, to achieve uh, development for all. So I think even the small interventions could always uh, fit into, into the global picture. And that's why I, I feel it's my responsibility to explain some of these initiatives and some, some of the thinking about the global development agenda. So for, for the SCAUS member, when they go back home, they will be able to make sure that their work is always in tandem with, with the United Nations efforts.